Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to use Wallet Connect to connect to the Binance Dex, the new Binance Dex mainnet. So let's get started. All right, so uh, here's the Binance Dex, the brand new uh, Binance uh, mainnet Dex that you can use to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. Uh, and uh, when you choose Unlock Wallet, uh, they give you some choices here. And I was always curious about this Wallet Connect, and they said that it was supposed to work with Trust Wallet. So I spent quite a bit of time trying to figure out uh, how to scan this QR code with my uh, trust wallet which is an iOS based wallet so and I never could figure it out I was it's just did not seem to have support for it so uh, through a lot of searching on the internet all right and uh, I forget the Google search terms that I use to find this uh, all right I think it was uh, trust wallet Binance coin uh, <laughs> it was but it took me a long time to find this article all right so the article basically explains that if you want to use uh, Wallet Connect with the Trust Wallet, you need to uh, allow yourself to use their beta version, all right? And so there's a link here uh, for the Test Flight app. So if you click the link, uh, you get uh, this uh, test app page, all right? And so basically what you need to do is, so on your phone, you're gonna need to go to the App Store and download Test Flight. All right, and uh, I've already downloaded it, and so uh, after you've uh, got Test Flight on your computer and you hit open, uh, I already have the app listed here. But uh, basically, what you need to do is uh, go over to that same article using uh, your browser or, or whatnot. all right and so there you go now i found that article on my phone all right and then down here uh where that link is that test flight app then uh when you click that link it's basically the invitation to uh accept the trust wallet um test flight version or the beta version of the trust wallet so once you click accept then you can open your trust wallet which I already had installed on my phone, right? But before that, I wasn't able to get the Binance coin. You'll see there that I had the Binance ERC20 coin, but what I needed was the new Binance uh, mainnet coin. And you can see there that that's the address of the uh, Binance coin uh, mainnet, right? Uh, so. Now that I've got that, I can, uh, and then also up at the top there, you can see that uh, little icon on the top left uh, for uh, scanning the connect. So let's go back over to here to the Binance uh, Dex, and we're going to unlock the wallet, and uh, we'll hit this so that we've got that QR code up and running, and then I'll tap that QR code on my in my app. All right, and then it pops up and says, hey, do you want to do a QR code scan or do you want to use Wallet Connect? Well, I want to use Wallet Connect, right? I scanned it and boom, lo and behold, uh, I can approve this on my phone and now I'm connected to the Binance Dex with my uh, phone. The phone is managing the private keys through Trust Wallet. Right, and if I lose that uh, my phone, I've got my trust wallet backup to uh, re-enable all those the private key. All right, so uh, let me move this down just a little bit, and I'll go over here to balances. And as you can see, I have zero balance right now. But here's the uh, address of that, and I can look on my phone and confirm that that is the correct address. You can see that BNB807, blah, blah, blah. It matches this one up here. So I'm going to hit copy. And I'm going to go over to my Binance account in my funds. And you can see that I've got some Binance coin there. 
So I'm going to do a withdrawal of my finance coin into this wallet, right? So there's the address. I'm going to paste it in. I don't need a memo for this transaction. Uh, I've got 10 available, so I'll put two in here. I'm going to throw all caution to the wind. And there's uh, 005 is the fee. I'm going to add that on top, so I get the full two. Now I need my Google Authenticator code. So I'll probably disconnect when I do that, but that's okay. You don't need to be totally connected in order to do this. So uh, I'm gonna flip over to Google Authenticator. I'm gonna put in my Binance uh, code. All right, and then they're gonna send me a confirmation email, which I'll need to confirm. Uh, there's my Binance confirmation email. I'm going to confirm that withdrawal. And we can go to deposits and withdrawal history. And we can see that that 2BNB is uh, on its way to my personal wallet. So let's go back over here. Uh, I'm going to need to reconnect, which uh, I can do now. <laughs> I know what I'm doing now. I'm going to go over to my trust wallet. I'll let you guys see what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm going to hit that uh, scan connect again, uh, oh, the, the little scan icon, and I'm going to choose wallet connect. I'm going to scan that Binance. I'm going to prove the connection to the, de the DEX. Right? And basically all I can see on the phone is uh, just the, the public address of the wallet. So uh, let's go over here to balances and wait for that uh, money to come in. I'll wait for the, uh, the Binance coin to come in. And uh, I don't know if I'll get an alert on the phone either. So I'll just kind of let them both sit there for a minute and see what happens. <laughs> All right, so interestingly enough, uh, I had to uh, answer a phone call and I exited the app and I had to relaunch Trust as my, uh, and send it, I sent a text. Uh, so when I went back in to Trust Wallet, you'll notice there that that two uh, Binance BNB showed up in the, on the phone. It appears to uh, still be connected phone-wise, I guess. Uh, so I see the two BNB in my Trust Wallet, and I also see on the DEX uh, page that uh, they uh, see the two BNB in the wallet. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and try to do a small trade and see what happens on my phone when I do that trade. So let me move the phone over here because when you go to the exchange, uh, these uh, are down in the corner. All right, so I'm going to buy a little bit of Myth. Uh, I'll just buy 25% of my total. That's going to cost me a 0.5 BNB. So I'll hit Buy Myth. Ah, okay. All right, so I need to use Wallet Connect again to scan this QR code. So I'm going to tap that uh, code up there in the top left corner uh, to launch this Wallet Connect on my phone. I'll do that. I'll scan that QR code, and then it wants me to approve that connection again. All right, and there, the trade order popped up. It wants me to approve that uh, transaction there. So I hit approve. And then you can see on the web page that it says limit by order created. Now, why am I going through all this? What is the advantage of doing this uh, besides just having fun? All right? The advantage of doing this is that the private keys for my Binance wallet are stored on my phone in the trust wallet. So uh, the private key is not being exposed to the internet. Uh, and when uh, I want to make a trade or move uh, BNB out of this wallet, I need to confirm on my phone. And we can do that with the ledger too, but uh, the advantage of this method is I don't have to run out and buy another piece of hardware in order to securely manage my private keys. Uh, I already have a phone, most people do. So all I need to do is download Trust Wallet, make sure I'm running the beta version so that I can do this, and then my private keys are being managed from my phone. 
safe and secure. This is a very safe and secure way to manage your private keys. Uh, the private keys are part of your uh, Bitcoin or BNB wallet. Uh, and there are many different cryptocurrencies that are supported in the trust wallet. So that's why I'm doing this. It's much more safe and secure. Uh, the uh, cryptocurrency, the BNB coin, is not being held on the Binance uh, centralized exchange with this method. I'm using their decentralized exchange. I'm managing my own wallet and I'm managing my own private keys with this Wallet Connect software and uh, my phone. All right, so that's it. So if you have any questions about anything I did, please let me know and I'll do my best to get them answered in the comments. So uh, thanks for watching. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in LA. Uh, throw out any questions that you may have and I'll see what I can do to get them answered for you on the fly. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.